with one last day of beautiful weather and awesome trails in the forecast, Daryl and I decided it was a good day to hit the trails and we have big plans for the day. We were going to check out some new trail sections we hadn't ridden because, well, keep in mind we're pretty new to this if you've been following us, haven't been out a whole lot and um, we were really excited to get a whole lot of kilometers in on this day. So we started out and the trails were in fantastic shape. Uh, they were just absolutely amazing, well groomed. It was such a nice difference from many of the other times we have managed to get out. If you don't kind of know the background, um, Daryl's sled, so we bought these this year after we went winter camping for the first time and realized that dragging all of our stuff out onto the ice to spend the weekend ice fishing and sleep on the ice it was just there was so much gear so we decided that we would get some snowmobiles and we picked these up we hit the trail we actually hit this section of trail and uh that very first day we had ridden we had ridden the sleds around at home quite a bit on the farm here and they had done great but we hit that section of trail and daryl's sled started beeping like crazy and after we actually did this little section here that very first time, uh, finally we realized that his battery was dying and we better get back home. So we had turned around and got back home and that just led to so many problems with this sled. We ended up having to replace the stator and then the voltage regulator and it took a while to get parts in because this is an odd year sled and uh, it was just difficult to find, but we did finally get it. So we got it up and running, we've been on the trails, and this day was just, this was going to be the last day that we could ride our local trails, at least we figure, because there was going to be a big warm up and a lot of rain. Who knows, the local trail association has salvaged the trails so many times, and these were amazing. We were having so much fun. Like, look at how nice and smooth everything looks. It was just a perfect day for sledding. I love these sections through the trees. It's always so much fun for me. I actually prefer them to the wide open field part. Yeah, you can go a lot faster in the wide open fields, blah, blah, blah. I like the trees. I like the turns. I like having different scenery to look at. Um, is it? So it's just a lot of fun. Uh, the wide open stuff is great. You can let it rip and have some fun with that. But you know, changing things up, moving around, especially on my sled, she doesn't have a studded track. Uh, and she's a very light sled, so I can have a lot of fun with her. Um, I can kind of let the butt swing around and, and it just moves around and it, it makes for a really fun ride. And we were having such a great time at this point. I mean, we're not very far into it, but we're having a great time and I'm really looking forward to uh, what's coming, at least according to my plans. I'm really hoping that we're gonna have an amazing day. My hand isn't getting sore yet. I've, I've dealt with throttle thumb a lot and this was just a nice day. Everything was going great, but of course it just never works that well for us and um, I had no idea what was to come. So it was about here that Daryl realized he had a problem. Uh, his leg was starting to get warm and 
at least I think this is the point where it, it really started to dawn on him. At this point, we're coming up to a road crossing, and it's a fairly major road in the area. Um, and I had no idea what was about to happen. So we get up to the road. Everything seems fine. We cross. And luckily, there wasn't a whole lot of traffic, so crossing was nice and quick. And we had actually not done this section of trail very far in the past. But when I saw Daryl pull over, I knew that something was up because he generally only pulls over if he's needing to check where we are on the trail. And I had no idea at this point what was going on, but I also knew he knew this section of trail. And I'm sitting here and I'm starting to notice the smoke. And so he goes for the hood because that's where he's seeing the smoke. And at that point, I'm starting to realize there's more coming from the side. And he goes to check that. And yeah, we have a fire. Now, fortunately, hit the kill switch really quick. Uh, and you know, the one benefit about being on a snowmobile is that it means you have snow. And so he managed to get snow on it really quick. But wow, that was um, kind of crazy. Now, the funny thing is, he did eventually have someone come by who said, you should have just let it burn. And and honestly, this sled has been such a headache, I wouldn't have minded, but you, you just can't, right? You see flames, the immediate thing is you need to put it out. Um, so he did get it put out, and it, uh, it was a bit of a scary situation. I wasn't really sure what to think. So at this point, we realized this sled's not going anywhere. Well, I'd already realized that. Daryl finally comes to that realization. And I turn around and I head home so that I can get the trailer and come back and pick him up. Um, this is a really good point to anyone out there who isn't comfortable with trailering or anything. If you like to do activities that require trailering, such as boating or snowmobiling, um, and yes, they don't always require trailering, but if you do that and you do require a trailer to do those things, learn how to trailer because you never know when you're gonna need it. I headed back, saw all these nice other riders heading out. Um, they hopefully had a much better day than us. And so I just headed back to get our trailer so that I could go pick him up. And we did manage to get the sled home safe and sound. I enjoyed my first ever bit of solo trail riding and that actually wasn't scary at all. Originally it would have been for me, but uh, I've gotten to know my sled really well and I trust her and she's been a really great machine for me and I now know more of the rules. So it was, I had a good ride, Daryl didn't, but kind of a crummy way to end our snowmobiling season a little earlier than we were hoping.